Hey everybody, Anna Hummel for Spear of Metal, and we are here in Santa Ana, California with Trey from Dying Fetus. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Okay. Excellent. Um, so I just wanted to start the interview asking about your Facebook page. Every time I go there, you guys are posting a new flyer for a new tour, days for a new tour. Seems that you guys didn't stop this year. Do you have any time this year to breathe a little bit? <gasps> I just got one in right there. <laughs> uh, you know, we've, we've really jam-packed this year full of uh, a lot of touring. You know, we're trying to support uh, Reign Supreme uh, as best we can. Um, you know, we've hit just about most of the world. I mean, we've you got Asia and China and Europe and North America and um, Australia. And, uh, you know, we really tried to support the album well and get out there to all these places. And you got to do that by staying on the road. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, actually, I was going to ask you that. You guys went everywhere this year. Any favorite spots? Uh, China was really surprising. We when we went to Guangzhou, we played right before, right after. We were the only Western band, mm -hmm. and uh, we're the only death metal band. It was like a city put on music festival, oh. <laughs> and we played right after a like Taiwanese girl pop band that was like so bubblegum and like like so cute and adorable and then we got up there and we're like brawl and the crowd they literally ate it up with chopsticks they they loved it they they just threw down but that i think that was one of the coolest shows this year okay and also you did like a, you did this festival in mexico and then in indonesia also yeah how different are these festivals from the ones you actually do more usually in europe and here you know, they all try to be like a, a European festival, no. um, and uh, depending on the budget of the the promoter, it goes off like a European festival or it doesn't. Okay. But ultimately, you know, the fans are what matter, and mm -hmm. they are always super stoked and always really excited to see us. So mm -hmm. that's cool. Okay, and then this year you actually played here in February with Hatebreed, so you mm -hmm. guys were supporting them, and now you're headlining a tour. How do you make the decision about like should I headline tour or be the support band? Well, it, it you know it, it's kind of based on how many times we've been to a market. Um, also, what does the band if we're going to support a band? What do they bring for us? Mm -hmm. You know, so you, you want to hopefully support a band that is maybe, of course, bigger than you and maybe a little outside of your genre. That way we can we can try to pull new fans in. Mm -hmm. Then when we come back on a headlining tour, we have a little bit better attendance and some new blood at the shows. Mm -hmm. And um, this year, not this year, but these last two albums, like but last year and the previous one, you guys actually hit the top 200 on the Billboard chart. Okay. Are you seeing some kind of a reflection of that at the gigs? you see more people coming to the gigs? Mm, I don't know. I think we've gotten uh, a better uh, public profile mm -hmm. as far as being out in the public, in the public eye, and having people actually know who we are and be interested in us and want to come and see what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, whether that's related to getting to the Billboard Top 200, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think that might just really have to do with the fact that we're on the road all the time and you know we're always trying to expand the fan base. Okay. And so talking about your fan base, you guys are on the top 200 because people bought albums so are the, your fans those like loyal, loyal fans that will buy the albums oh of course we're always grateful to those people mm -hmm. you know without the core fan base mm -hmm. the long time dying fetus fans the long time death metal fans you know we wouldn't be able to be doing this as prolifically as we have mm -hmm. So, um, last time we talked to you was a, a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember I asked you about your record label and you guys were just finishing your contract with Relapse Records. Yes. And you ended up signing with them again. Mm -hmm. I, uh, that was like a year after we talked or even more. Uh, how hard was to make that decision and do you guys have to, what kind of things do you have to put on scale to see wh where, which way you guys were going? Well, we waited to see what kind of offers we had from other labels, too. Mm -hmm. um, we had several other offers from other labels, and we weighed you know, the benefits and the drawbacks of staying with Relapse or going with another label. And we felt that we have such a long history with Relapse mm -hmm. at all of our back catalogs there 
um, you know, ultimately us and Relapse benefit from us staying there. Um, Relapse is a smaller label mm -hmm. and we're pretty much the biggest death metal fish in their little pond. Mm -hmm. And we can get a lot of attention from them when it comes time for a new album and they um, are going to promote the album. Mm -hmm. So they, they put a lot of effort into promoting the album and um, you know, a lot of history there. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, kind of a personal question now. Um, every year, I think we, there's a release of something. It doesn't have to be an album, album, movie, book that kind of becomes our little addiction of this that year. Anything this year for you? Uh, right now, it's Grand Theft Auto V. <laughs> I've been playing the hell out of that. Well, not right now because I'm on tour. I really wish it was on PC because I'd be playing it right now. I'd be doing this, playing it on my laptop be like what, what was the question oh okay yeah that's my guilty that's my little guilty pleasure that the, the video games mm -hmm. and things like that okay um we're talking about now um about in general everybody has their um like kind of hobby or passion for me i have mine do, where do you spend your money that is like a hobby that you wish you didn't spend as mu much money with <laughs> <laughs> um Actually, I wish I could spend more money on paintball. <laughs> paintball? Yeah, I really like that. I really like that, really like that stuff. So, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of fun for me. And um, yeah, that's my little guilty pleasure. Okay, so you just go out and play with friends? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you have time. When I have time, because there's not a lot of it, yeah, you okay. know. Okay, and then talking now about the future, future plans. Uh, after this tour, what are you guys going to be focusing on? We have another tour in Europe. We're, um, we're going to be supporting Heaven Shall Burn, mm -hmm. and uh, Hypocrisy is also on the bill, and there may be another band announced, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, we're going to focus on putting um, a new album together. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, kind of last question, do you have any messages for the Spirit of Metal viewers? Hey, if you guys are at Spirit of Metal, if you're Dying Fetus fans and you've come and supported us over the years, we thank you very much, you know. Without you, the fan, we couldn't be out here doing this as long as we have or as far around the world as we've gotten. So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you. Oh,